Alright guys, so we're going to draw this part that has a radial slot pattern, okay? Uh, the main thing we're going to look at is the diameter is 6 inches of the part, the ID is 4 inches, the radial slot, uh, the center of it is 2.49, and we'll check that, make sure we're on 3 uh, decimal places. Um, so this part... It's 45 degrees radial slot. So from the center right here to here is 45 degrees, okay? And since the slot diameter is 7 eighths, that means from the outside to the inside of the slot be 7 eighths as well. All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll open up a file. We'll create a new sketch. I'll put it on top view. I'll place a circle right here. Make this six inches. Place another circle. Our ID is going to be four inches. And if we look at our slots, um, so I have a, it has a seven eighths hole that starts at two point four nine up vertically. So I'm going to try to avoid any snap points there. Make this uh, 0.78, so a 0.78 hole. We'll dimension this 2.49. And another thing we'll look at is the outside diameter of the circle is 5.76. So we'll go ahead and draw that up. So I'll place the circle at. 5.76 and if we look at the inside diameter of a circle it's going to be 4.2 okay all right so if you, if you didn't know where to place this circle right here one thing you could do is you could actually just draw a line connect from here to here and then place a circle at the, at the center of that so that's another way to do it okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my circular pattern this will be my object my center point will be one of these arcs and because they're 45 degrees apart 360 divided by 45 degrees is 8. Let me check my math there. Yeah, 8. Argued that was 8. I was just making sure I was explaining that right. So I'm going to hit OK. <clears throat> and... As you can see, my radio, first radial slot starts here and moves to the next um, next hole. So what I can do is go to my trim function, and I'll trim up what I don't need. So I don't need that or this. And let's double check, make sure we're doing that right. Cool. Trim up right here. And it looks something like that. Alright, so I'm going to hit E for extrude. And we'll say this is a half inch thick. And it looks something like that. Let's compare it. And that's how you draw your radial slot. So, uh, main, thing, main information you need to know is the slot width, and which will be the the diameter of these and pretty much the angle and position of your first uh, if you were to draw a circle you know the position vertically of where that first uh, circle would be located 
and you usually do the rest of your math based off that information. Um, if you don't know that, what you could do, sometimes you make it apart from a customer that, um, you know, they don't have a print for it. So you could measure the OD and then measure the thickness of the web and basically calculate, you know, the distance. So you would measure the web thickness and the slot width and you'd calculate basically a some kind of starting position for this. And then you'd have to have some kind of angle. Uh, sometimes the customer may not have a print, so what you could do is get it as close as you can by eyeball eyeballing it. And because um, a lot of times these these radial slots are for like clearance or some kind of event, um, depending depending on the application. Um, I mean, if they need a spot on, um, uh, they need, if it's a tight tolerance, they're gonna, they're gonna supply print. Uh, if not, they need to. But this is how you draw your radial slots.